Hey, what's up guys? Steven is Salon Guy here and I have Robin next to me. Robin is absolutely stunning. How you doing? Good. <laughs> good, good. So this is really, really amazing and I'm, I'm really happy to have Robin here today. As you can see, she's got gorgeous, really curly, beautiful hair. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the length a little bit, uh, give it like a nice trendy haircut, add a lot of layers to it to kind of uh, get, bring a little more life to it and a little more shape as far as the curls go. So she can really kind of scrunch it and wear it a little more um, creative, have a little more volume, a little more texture to it. And uh, this is really gonna be good. We're gonna do kind of a step-by-step, -step, which I know you guys love. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. Okay guys, so Robin is pretty much sectioned off, ready to go, and I parted her hair down the middle just because, you know, she does wear it a little more over to this side, but I wanna give her the flexibility to kind of switch it over and wear it both sides. That's also gonna be good for the layering as well, so it's really gonna balance it all out really nicely. Because if I cut it on the part over this way, it might be a little more heavy on this side. So I figure let's part it in the middle. And so what I'm doing now is creating a division point which separates the front and the back. Okay, this is pretty standard basic stuff. You always wanna do that. And especially with curly hair, you wanna give yourself a pretty clear vision. And now keep in mind, this is also very crucial too, is sometimes people, ha their hair down in the bottom here, um, sometimes it, there's like you know, breakage or it's a little finer or just look down a little bit. Um, and sometimes the section is so thin that when you're cutting it, you know, it, it, it's deceiving because this section might be up to here and next thing you pull the next thing down, it's down here and you're like, whoa, it's too, too late. You chopped off a whole bunch of hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit thicker section. This way I can really have a nice thick base here. And in a lot of my haircuts, I always say that the base is really the key to everything. You know, once you have a good solid base, then uh, it's easy to work off of that. So I'm just gonna clip this up, get this out of the way here. And my first section I'm gonna take is gonna be kind of right down the middle. This is pretty standard, but what, what you wanna do is we're gonna establish where the length is gonna be. Now with curly hair, obviously it pops up. So if I cut it, say, to like right here, to her neck, it's gonna like jump up to like here. So you definitely wanna be careful. and You don't wanna cut it too short. And since we're layering it, everything is really gonna jump up. So I'm gonna cut it to about right here, okay, which is right here. And when it pops up, it's probably gonna go up just a little bit, okay, to about right here. So it's gonna give it a nice shape. So it's still gonna be, she's still gonna have some length to it, but at the same time, uh, it's gonna be just enough for the style, so it's gonna really bring out the shape. So now what I'm doing is cutting everything straight across and establishing my length. And this is really, really cool because this type of haircut is gonna be a really nice trend, really nice style. It's great for curly hair. It's gonna give it some life and it's gonna, she's gonna be able to have a lot of fun with it. What I'm doing here in the corners, and I've done this before, is I'm going to keep it within this one area and through here. I'm not bringing it over here because I want to maintain length in through the corners here so that I can connect it into the sides. Great. So there we go. There's the length. It's going to fall probably on right just past the shoulders here and it's going to be awesome. So now I'm going to take the next section right here, which is, I really am just taking two sections. I'm going to comb this straight down. Again, right in the middle. There's my guide right there. You can check underneath again, just to make sure. And we're cutting straight across. So if you're, if you're following along and you're doing this, you can pause the video, you can continue, but I'm going to just finish this up here on the side, I mean in the back into the corner, and then we're gonna come back in and then connect the sides. All right, so I just sprayed her hair down again just to make sure it's nice and damp. With curly hair, you always wanna spray it and keep it pretty wet because it does have the tendency to dry up pretty quickly. So now, here's where, by leaving this corner in through here, it helped us out because now we can maintain the length coming around this way, which is cool. If we rounded this off, then it would be like up here and it would not be cool. And Robin would stab me. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is basically cut it exactly where it falls. So I'm standing pretty much right here, and now I'm just gonna simply connect it. As you can see, now we've got that perfect shape going in through this way, and we can continue working into the front. So now I'm going to just take this piece here, 
and we're gonna follow the guide. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating some, some layers and some face framing. So what I like to do right here is start working upwards this way and creating my shape right through here because this is gonna help me with my base. Again, the base is totally crucial to cutting. And by doing this now, you're giving yourself kind of a head start. So I'm angling my fingers up. There's the, the length right there. And I'm gonna cut downwards into it. I'm just creating a nice kind of face, face frame to give myself a head start. And then when I go back in and layer it, then it's really gonna pop and we're gonna probably cut it even a little bit shorter. But now that I have this established, I'm happy with this. Now I'm gonna spin around and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is probably the easiest part of the haircut, but it's like the most crucial as well. Because once you have this, really this guide set, and this is like your roadmap of where to go, then you're gonna be good. You can't really go wrong from here. Unless you start taking breaks and drinking a lot of vodka, then you'll be in trouble. <laughs> you wanna do that, Robin? Take breaks and have vodka? <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> All right. So once again, connecting this way, so we keep our line nice and straight here. And then now I'm going to work upwards this way. And a lot of times, it's normal if you have a side that's a little bit longer, you know. Um, like I say before, some people have a good side and a bad side, I just have a bad side and a worse side. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Robin's laughing at me, but she just elbowed me in the stomach. No. <laughs> All right, so we're looking good here. All right, it looks nice and even. And now what I wanna do is just kind of come in here to the front and continue to extend this going upwards this way. And what I like to do is just kind of right here, bring us all straight down. And as you can see, this and this matches up. So now what I gotta do is just cut that middle piece right there. So everything's looking good. So now I just wanna go back, and I like to do this a lot, is just comb things forward a little bit and cut it to the guide underneath, just to give myself kind of a head start. And this is a great way to make sure you're balanced. So as you can see how important this is when you're cutting to make sure everything is really balanced, because this is the, the foundation of the haircut. This is really, really what's gonna make this uh, haircut really, really good. So always kind of step back and you can check it by uh, you know, shaking the hair a little bit. And from what it looks like, we're in good shape here. So now Robin wants to see, I know that. <laughs> so this is where the base is completely done now. We're good. Now we're gonna start the layering, which is um, definitely the next important part of this whole haircut. Okay, so now for the layering, what we're gonna do is we are going to take a section right in the back here, right down the middle, and since we're gonna be going a little bit shorter on the layers, um, quite a good amount of hair is gonna be coming off. So I'm probably gonna end up cutting like maybe half of this, I'd say, or maybe not as short, but right around here, I'd say is where we're gonna cut. Now you wanna keep in mind that everything has to be balanced, okay? So if you cut this too short, then you know, you're, you're finished. But if you leave it too long, it's not gonna create that shape that we're looking for. So I'm gonna go, and start my layers probably right here. As you can see, here's where it's gonna fall right here, but then we're gonna go back in and round it out. So there's my first section right here, and I'm gonna cut upwards just to create my guide, which is right here. Let that fall down here, and then we're gonna work this in through the bottom. So just like the haircut I did with the base, we're gonna do it section by section, and we're gonna follow the pattern of the hair. And now as we get to the bottom, we're going to leave the length in the bottom. So there's the length right there. You can let that fall out. And now we're just going to simply cut this to where it's all balanced and even. And with curly hair, sometimes as, as you know, or may not know, the hair likes to jump around a little bit. So it's normal to take sections and see pieces that are just coming from all over the place. All right, now we're just gonna follow this there's our guide right there. And I'm establishing the length for the next section. And we're just gonna work this all the way into the bottom. So once you get this going, this flow going, 
See the length dropped out, so you make sure that you're leaving that there. Again, you want to keep a solid base. But once you get going with this, then you're pretty much home free. Next section, and now I'm, I'm slightly over directing more towards the center because I want to, again, the same thing in the beginning, I want to leave a little bit of that weight and I don't want to cut out too much of those corners because that's where we're going to keep that length and keep that weight in there, which I'd, I want to keep. So comb everything back. As you can see, I'm pulling straight back to preserve the length and to keep a good balanced shape. And you can comb it down. And there we go. Looking good. Now here's where we're getting closer to the corner. And as you can see, I'm combing straight back more towards the center. I'm not pulling it out this way. This is really, really crucial. And a lot of times I've seen people do that where they start to angle it out this way and you're gonna end up cutting way too much hair in through here. You don't wanna do that. So this is where the, the, the vision point comes in handy too. So push this out of the way. You can take this in one nice section here. Comb this all straight back. There's the guide. And we're just gonna follow from the previous section. And then right in through here, here's that corner. Pull it straight back. And look, see only a little bit is coming off because this is what we wanna maintain. So as this comes forward here, See, we're keeping the length and we're keeping the weight as well. So with curly hair, which I mentioned before, has a tendency to dry up and you have to keep spraying it down and keeping it, you wanna keep it moist. So I'm just gonna go back in and now I can see it as it's drying here, it's got a beautiful, nice shape to it and it's really bringing out her curl. So now we still have to cut this side. <laughs> Let's spray this down. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did on the other side. So bring everything straight out to the center here. And when we're done, we're then going to work into the top. All right, so now that the back is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this with the top. So we're gonna let that hair that we previously cut fall out there, as you can see. And now we're gonna to cut to where it stops, the hair stops falling out from my section because this way we're cutting it perfectly symmetrical with the head shape. And again, this is connecting the back to the front. And this is a technique that I do all the time. All right, a lot of times people just take a section right from here, hold it, comb it straight up, and then they end up cutting like a line in the, in the hair and you don't wanna do that. It's really not really blending it. So what you wanna do is go to about right here to where the hair is straight up from the head. And then once you're ready from here, then this will be your guide working forward this way so you don't have to touch the back anymore. It's a, method, it's a technique that I use all the time. It works well and it's really, really something I would definitely advise you guys to uh, start doing if you're not doing it now. With, even with, if it's straight hair, it doesn't have to be curly. You know, any, and you've seen, if you've seen my videos, I do it all the time. So it's really, really crucial. So here we are into the corner, right in through here. And I'm going to over direct again this back because I don't want to cut any of that length and through here. I want to keep that solid and the hair will fall out of your section. With the hair that's not meant to cut, believe it or not, it's kind of like jumping out saying, don't cut me. So it, it falls out and then you're, you're safe for that way. So same thing on this side, this section here in the corner, combing it straight back. There's the guide right there. Let's bring it up a little bit more now to follow the head shape. And as you can see, now we have a nice symmetrical shape. And then the last section right here in the corner, again, comb this straight back. You want to over direct it. There's the hair right there that you can see it. It doesn't even need to be cut. Nothing needs to be cut, which is a good sign. If you were to pull this up and you, are, and you see like really long bits of hair or you, you see like huge gaps, that is definitely not good. I would leave the country at that point <laughs> because it's not supposed to do that. And that's gonna be a result of from before, if you cut too much 
in that in the corners if you ran it out too early. Whereas in this shape right now, it's got really really good uh, that weight that we're looking for. So now we're going to work into the top. And how we're going to do this is now we have our section that we cut in through here, which could be our guide for the whole rest of the haircut right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take section just just in front of that and we're going to work in a panel kind of right down the middle. So I'm going to comb this straight across here. Here's my section. And if it's too thick, then you have to go back in and kind of make it thinner, but that's good. <clears throat> so here's the guide right here. This is the worst part of New Brunswick because these sirens. <laughs> so we're going to make sure this is nice and balanced. So we're pulling this straight up here. There's the guide that we cut before, which is right here. And then we're going to cut straight across. Because now we can cut horizontally because we already have our guide from the back. There that is. Now we're going to continue this right to the front holding everything pretty much straight up and horizontally. And we're working kind of in a panel right down to the middle because we don't want to cut the corners because we'll do that next. And I always like to work kind of straight down the middle first to make sure that uh, it is, we're not taking too much and we're, we're keeping a good structure. There's the guide. And cut it straight across horizontally. And again, because of the shape that we're going for, we want to get a little more kind of curl and volume out of the whole thing. So that's why we're cutting the layers a little bit shorter. And you could even go even, you know, more extreme if you wanted to. It's, it depends. Let's spray this down. As you can see with, with curly hair, it gets a little, starts to dry up pretty quickly. So I'm just going to go back in and spray it. I always like to cut wet into dry for a lot of my haircuts, whether it's curly, whether it's straight. I always like doing that just because as the hair dries, you really get to see the shape of how it's starting to fall. And even with curly hair, you see how it's all kind of coming together. So, and, and on short hair as well, cutting wet into dry really, really helps. There's a lot of people that do dry haircuts, you know, as well on curly hair, which is fine. I just don't do it as much. Um, I'm more of a, you know, I like to keep the hair wet at first. So we're probably going to get one more, two more sections right in the middle here. And let's comb this straight up here. There's the guide. All right. And then last but not least, right here in the very front. Now, because of the face frame that we did before, we shouldn't be cutting too much. But again, we're going shorter than the face frame, which I knew we do. But as you can see in the very, very front here, this section, it's not, we're not, we didn't really cut that that much because of how we set ourselves up before, which is what you want to do. You just want to set yourself up. That's why I said the base is crucial for this type of uh, haircut or any haircut. So that's done now right in the middle. Now we're going to connect the corners and the sides. And this is also very, very crucial as well. And this all comes down to a head shape. So what I'm going to do is comb this straight up or straight out from the head. And there is that corner right there, that little kind of section. And what that is, is that's creating weight and it's going to make it a little bit heavier. Now I'm going to comb it straight down. There's the side. So you don't want to cut the bottom as you saw the hair just fell out of my section and then bam, let that fall over it. That's going to maintain a really kind of nice, thicker, clean section. Um, especially on Robin's hair, which is a little bit uh, finer. And she has a lot of it, but it's a little more on the fine side. So you want to keep those sections in the base really solid. So you don't want to cut and over thin out the bottom here. A lot of people do that. I've seen a lot of haircuts where people go in here and they'll start cutting this. You do that and you're finished. You never want to cut the length and the length will pretty much fall out. Last section right here in the front. I'm going to kind of slightly over direct back a little bit. Again, we're cutting the corner. There's the 
guide from the top. Here's the corner right here, which we have to cut. And now we're going to extend that down and through the bottom here. And there we go. Just that little piece right there. And then we're good. So now what I'm going to do is do the same thing on the other side. But I just want to check the shape. I think it's looking amazing. It's got really good balance to it. And now for this side, same thing. You want to have the client kind of face you. And we're going to kind of mirror what we did. And this is all about body positioning. You want to keep yourselves at a comfortable position. You don't want to, if, you, if, you, if I were to cut this the other way, I'd be putting my elbow like in a weird position. So simply all I'm doing is just making sure that my body is in a good, balanced and a comfortable position. And then we're going to extend this down here. There's just that little bit right there. We're cutting. And then next section. So continue to do that. And then when we come back, we're going to give it another check to see how everything is looking. And I'm going to do that by uh, combing it all forward again and just making sure that everything is balanced. So finish this side up. And then I'll, I'll meet you guys when I'm ready to go back into the very, very front. All right, so we're coming along nicely here. And I just want to give you guys a sneak peek of the shape here. Straight on, I think it looks phenomenal. And as it's starting to dry, it's just got this gorgeous, gorgeous kind of shape. The wave is so beautiful. And I just, I always do this on haircuts is I'm just going to spray it down one last time. And this is probably the last time I'm going to spray this down because with curly hair, you don't want to mess around with it too much. You want to kind of let it do its own thing and let it dry kind of naturally after you put some product in it. But I'm just going to spray this right in the front. And I always do this just to make sure everything is balanced. I comb everything straight down or straight forward this way just to go back in. And if I need to make the sides here, the corners a little more solid, I can do that. But everything is really, this is just to check everything. All right, so I like to go back in right through here because sometimes when you layer it, it does kind of, you know, layering removes weight. So a lot of times it will thin the ends a little, but then I like to go back in and kind of reshape and rebalance everything. So this is where now I can go back and kind of reconnect the angle, the face frame that we did before to make it more solid and have everything exactly where I want it, which is fine. So as you can see, we really still maintain the integrity right here. But all we did was just kind of clean up the ends and cut any of those longer pieces that we didn't do in the face frame. So I'm going to bring this straight down here. There's where we connected on this side. Again, this is just kind of shortening it and balancing it. And you want to make sure that she's completely turned, the client's completely turned where you have a good angle and that you can see everything. Here's where we need to cut that little bit right there. And we're going to work our way back up. Again, this is thickening the end and thickening our base right in through here, which is really, really going to be the key to this whole haircut. And just a little bit right here, and we're pretty much good to go. So now give it a nice scrunch. Put your scissors away, and you can then have a good look at it. I'll turn this way here. Great. So let's comb this back now just a little bit to get it out of her face. And I did whip her in the eye about 10 times. <laughs> but she elbowed, elbowed me a couple of shots in the stomach. It's fine, Robin. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> All right. So I always like to go back in here like this, just check with my fingers, my hands, make sure everything is balanced. It looks great. Now, Robin's hair. It's very deceiving. When we saw it before, it looks so thick. And because she has such pretty hair and such curly hair, so when it's wet, it's going to feel a little, and now that we layered it, it's going to feel like, you know, we took out some weight. But because her hair does have that, when it dries, that thickness, it's really going to appear even thicker when it's dry, and it's going to have a gorgeous, gorgeous shape. So now, because she does wear it over to the side a little bit, as she mentioned, let's kind of see how that looks um, just when it's wet. And then you want to give it a nice little scrunch. And oh man, this looks phenomenal. It's bringing out her gorgeous eyes. 
<laughs> yep. And look, see that? It's beautiful. So if what we're going to do for the styling is I want to spray some of my uh, Tidal Wave, which is my sea salt spray, and then also Plush, which is my volumizing and smoothing serum to give it, uh, as it dries, to help give it a little more smoother kind of texture, and also the uh, Tidal Wave to increase volume and give it a light hold. So I'm using this because, and the good thing about Plush is you can use it for straight hair, or you can use it for curly hair, anything, but it's a volumizing and smoothing serum. So it's going to help smooth the hair, meaning defrizz it, but also it's gonna keep the volume in your hair. It's not gonna weigh it down as much, or at all, which is what I love about it. I've used this on super fine, straight, flat hair, and after I'm done and I blow dry it, it's amazing how the volume is kept in there. So this, this is an amazing product. So you can use this on curly hair just to make sure that as it dries, uh, it, there's really no frizz to it whatsoever. Yeah, it smells good, thank you. That's my cologne you're smelling, by the way, not the product, no. So now I'm gonna use Tidal Wave, which is one of my favorite products of all time, which is a volumizing sea salt spray. Do you smell it? Mm -hmm. It smells like the ocean, right? Yep. Just not the Jersey Shore, though. Yeah. <laughs> Only people from Jersey can get that. <laughs> so I'm spraying this on, and the good thing about this compared to other sea salt sprays is that this isn't grimy, it isn't too sea salty. You know, there's a lot of sprays that are just way over the top that are too kind of heavy and too grimy where this isn't. But as this dries, it's going to just give a nice hold and really, really nice texture to it and give it that beachy kind of look. So then what I like to do at this point is kind of rake it and set it up to where as it dries, it's gonna kind of dry into that style. So I'm just gonna scrunch it a little bit and then I don't wanna mess with this at all. I wanna just let it dry. And then once it's dried, then she can kind of go back in and see how the finished look is and then wear it however she wants to. Robin, with people with curly hair, they have their own thing with curly hair, their own kind of technique and method. So I just resprayed it down. The product is in here. So I'm just gonna kind of film her, how she's going to go in and how she does her normal routine for curly hair. This is also good for people with curly hair too because you can probably pick up something new. So Robin, take it away. What I do is I just too much because it tends to frizz very easily if you do that and yeah you just like this and now she looks like a Victoria's Secret model wow now I'm going to give her the mirror for the grand revealing Robin are you ready for the grand revealing I know you've been seeing it on camera here but okay just don't smash me in, with the mirror in my, in my face <laughs> just turn a little more this way so we, everyone can see there we go is it, it. is it amazing or what? Yes. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Robin, thank you for being a model. Thank and you. Uh, you make me look good, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this, the step-by-step. -step. I know a lot of you want to see me talking more in my videos, kind of go back to my old school videos. And I hope you really enjoyed this. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.